So I will watch just like everyone of you all more than likely aware. I watched Wade Harrison's video on the walk of Steve's, one of the videos that I watched prior to getting a Steve's. I kind of wanted one for a long time, but uh, they're a really big boat. Uh, I've decided I wanted one for a creek boat. Uh, I like having a uh, slicey boat. Uh, I've got the Antics back here, Antics 2.0. Love the boat. Really thought about getting a large 2.0 to run bigger things on, but I kind of was leaning towards the Steve's. One of the biggest grabs that I heard Wade say about the Waka stuff is these grab handles. I don't know if you can notice right now, but those grab handles have been modified for aluminum ones. Yeah. I not only wanted to change that for the uh, basically the safety aspects of it, even though it's a totally really safe grab handle, but I wanted to change those out because uh, I like security too. So I wanted something a little bit safer to uh, tie on my vehicle. Uh, I'll flip this camera around here. So overlook these guys in the background. They're probably going to be loud you probably hear my video so with a stock waka it's plastic um pretty pretty bendable uh, you can see it bends really easy could probably break i don't know for sure but what i done was I, I got on amazon and uh i bought these aluminum bars they're a quarter inch thick which is the same thickness as the uh wakas it's a little bit thicker on the ends, but here in the middle, it's quarter. Uh, they are three quarter inch wide. And these are nine inches long. These stock Waka bars or grab handles are eight inches long. So I got the uh, heat shrink tape. There are several different ways of coating the, um, the aluminum. I went with heat shrink. I got one inch wide. It come like a 20 something foot roll or maybe 30 i'm not exactly sure but heat shrink's really durable most of the grab handles are got some kind of rubber coating on them so i kind of like that look and i don't have to keep worrying about painting it for the security aspect of it not only is the aluminum gonna be hard to take off but i got these m6 16 millimeter torx screws uh, on top of it being a Torx head, it has the uh, little security button where um, you got to have the special tool to take it off. I know Jackson uses that on some of their boats. Guys, could you be quiet for just a little bit? And uh, so I'll show you the finished product. If anybody needs to see every little step done, I could do that. But basically, I'll show you this, this helpful tool. What I did, this grab handle is eight inches long. So I would go over here, make a mark at eight inches. Come here. You either use your punch or Sharpie, make your mark. And then come over to the other side at your eight inch mark and do the same thing. And then I drilled my holes in the aluminum. After drilling the holes, I let the uh, the heat dissipate from the aluminum so it wouldn't mess up my heat shrink. I cut off the edges too. Uh, and then I slid this through the heat shrink. I left probably an eighth inch at the end and just sort of smashed it down. It hides when you put it on the boat. And then uh, I use the stock washers that come out of the Waka. And uh, here's what it looks like on the boat. Uh, let me see. I mean, it doesn't bother me a bit, this little open area. But, I mean, it may bother some of you all. But it uh, works pretty good. Oh, the, <laughs> the way I bend these is probably the most crude thing. There's several different ways you could do it. Uh, I didn't have a big vise or anything like that. What I did have was these weights. I'm not going to jump on this one to do it right now. But this mark right here, I measured four inches. That's the center of your eight. I kind of balance on this weight when my dog ain't trying to chew my aluminum. And uh, basically sit here and bounce 
on this till I bend that aluminum bar, which quarter inch aluminum bar is pretty hard to bend. So I'll show you kind of my bend versus the stock Waka. Here's my finished. There's the stock Waka. The Waka is just a continual bend. Mine's got just that bend like that. I didn't have the tools to do a different bend. That's just what I had. So that's it. Here's the finished product. I'm happy with it. That's really, I guess, all that matters. And uh, good luck on your all's bill.